So, it's the end of year video. Now, uh, just to let you all know that this video is not going to be as um, long or as high quality as the last one, mostly because of that last one, I was very organised with the channel last year, mostly because it's the only thing I had going on in my life at the time, which meant that I could dedicate limitless time and energy to it. Um, yeah, so the only reason I'm bringing that up is because this one's going to be slightly different, it's going to be a bit more chill, uh, yeah, chill vibes, pretty much. So, uh, to kick things off, uh, this year's been um, interesting. Basically, a lot's happened this year for me. First things first, do you remember this part of the last rewind? It's actually helped me come to a lot of conclusions. Um, I've decided I'm applying for university next year to study games development, which is uh, very exciting, as university was never something on the cards for me up until Wait. very recently. <laughs> Turn that off. It. Turn that off. Really Hold up. Okay. I looked at it for a month and then decided, nah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, was, I was telling the truth at the time. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that part. That is actually happening. Uh, yeah, that is actually happening. I've filled out my application. I only need to do my personal statement now. The irony that I can't really do a personal statement very well or sell myself very well when one of my hobbies is a YouTube channel where I talk to a camera for an audience is a... Uh, it's an irony that's not lost on me. Uh, beyond that, I um, I picked up drawing this year. Um, basically, I wanted to improve my, uh, my art capabilities in order to prepare for university. Um, and it's something I've, I've done on and off throughout my life, but they're basically from June this year, I pretty much accelerated that. So I did it pretty much like one drawing every week. Um, to participate in art challenges such as uh, Sword Timber, where you're given like a, a daily prompt to make a sword based on that one word prompt, and Cloaktober, which is basically the same thing except with cloaks in October. And uh, basically, yeah, I've just spent the year basically improving on that, getting to grips with like uh, different computer software. At the moment, I use Affinity Designer to do all my drawings and designs. And one of them I'm really proud of is uh, this one. This one was my uh, partner's D&D character. Uh, the character's name is Lavinia, I believe. Lavinia? Uh, Lavinia, it is. I know it is. I'm not going to look for my phone because I know it's right. So this one I'm really proud of because um, it was my first time drawing a woman, which is kind of funny. Uh, and also, um, she loved it. So, yeah. I'll take it. So that's one thing I've been uh, doing the last uh, year. Um, if you want to check out any of this artwork, by the way, I do have an ArtStation account where I do upload all my favourite bits of artwork. So um, feel free to click the link in the description if you want to see them or anything like that. It's up to yourself. Just, you know, networking, pedal my... my middling artwork. But other than that, uh, basically this year was kind of like a reclamation for me. And I'll, um, I'll explain that in a little bit more detail. So basically what I wanted to do this year was kind of take back some of my hobbies that I've been missing, particularly video games. Now, I know what you're thinking, Aaron, how can you have lost video games as a hobby? That's all you ever do. And that's true. But the way I went about the channel last year, especially, where I was pumping out more or less one or two videos every week, that takes a toll. And by the end of the year, I was completely burnt out. I went into January 2022 completely knackered and just didn't really want to continue with that formula anymore. So this year, I uploaded when I wanted to on anything that interested me, and I didn't do it out of necessity um and that felt really good that felt really good and then after a while i thought to myself well why am i playing video games if no one's watching and then i remembered 
Aaron, most people play video games by themselves. So there's nothing wrong with it. So why don't you just go back to doing that? And I did. And I went back and played all kinds of games that I wouldn't have even touched for the YouTube channel or this channel. I just wanted to play by myself. So a couple of examples are Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It was the first one I was playing out of my little uh, video games renaissance. And uh, honestly, I'm so pissed that I didn't play Black Flag when it first came out because it was so fucking good. Uh, then I had Control. Control is one that just has the most satisfying combat ever. And also the environments are so beautiful. Just everything about it. Ugh. I actually have a book over here uh, make it called Making Video Games. My partner actually got me for Christmas. And Control is in that. And I really can't wait to get to that section. Because honestly, the artwork is just Oh, so good. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Uh, that was quite a popular one from the first part of this year. Uh, then I had um, Stardew Valley, The Callisto Protocol, The Witcher 3, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, and another big one I've been playing at the moment is Clone Hero. Now, I found a Guitar Hero 3 arcade machine, naturally at an arcade, but I was at a work do for, and I played it, Living Colour, Cult of Personality, and I thought to myself, oh my god, this is like quenching a decade-long thirst, because I fucking love Guitar Hero. I love it with a passion. It's great. So, I set out to try and see if I could get Guitar Hero at home. And I did. So, this is a Guitar Hero 1 PlayStation 2 controller. It was £20 from CEX, and it works flawlessly. Oh, well, except the whammy bar does not work. Um, it You have to do a bunch of things to get it to work, and I can live without it. Um, and it's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life, because through a £20 investment and also downloading Clone Hero, I can now play over uh, 2,000 songs on my PC anytime I want from the backlog of Rock Band, Guitar Hero, and everything else in between, uh, custom uploads as well, I can all play it on Clone Hero, and it is so good. So good. And turns out, this thing is just plug and play. Like, you have to map the buttons to get it to work initially, but other than that, this thing's plug and play. I could, who'd have thought from a five quid adapter off Amazon? Fantastic. And that, that was the highlight of the year, getting getting Guitar Hero again after almost a decade of not playing it. So that's a great time. Naturally, I haven't brought it to the channel because um, copyrighted music and the channel do not go well. And um, even if I played a chord from Master of Puppets, I would get a copyright strike. So I'm not doing that and I'm not risking it. Um, but yeah, those are the major ones. But there is one. There is one game, that is Game of the Year. Only one can have that title. Capybara Spa. Oh, hell yeah, lads. Now it's a party, right? You get in there. Get in there. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there's a fourth one. Oh, shit. I kind of want to make, like, uh, the Premier Inn. No, 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 no. That's a bit too ambitious. I want to make the Travel Lodge of Capybara Spas right now. Uh, so it's cheap sort of reliable, and all the water is dirty. I'm going to be honest, I've probably plowed more hours into uh, Capybara Spa than the entirety of Death Stranding. And I own that on two systems. You tell me how that works. Give me mushroom, give me stone, I have many pictures of capybaras on my phone. Yeah, so uh, honestly, if you, if you haven't played Capybara Spa, go play it. It, it will change your life. And also, uh, one more segment, because it's almost a yearly tradition at this point. Well, actually, I want to make it a yearly tradition. After this upload, it will be a yearly tradition, because it'll be done twice. Um, so, it wouldn't be a end-of-year video without a compilation of all the jump scares. So, without further ado, this is now a segment of a video where the jump scares start. So, you all have fun. I love you very much, and I will see you in a second. Bye now. What? <laughs> ah! Ah! 
away from me, devil child! She eating trash? Did she see me? I think she's- OH! She saw me! Lessons will learn. Ah! Ah! Shit! Run! Fucking run! Okay. Okay. Nope. I'm perfectly fine. Thank you for asking. Shit! Run! Ah! Oh, please! No, 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 no! You good guy? Oh! Bullshit! No, they have found you. Yep, can do. She's on me though. Fuck off! I didn't see you there, Freddy. I didn't mean to do that. Oh! They are required safety measures. Oh fuck! It's me. Oh! I didn't think this would be as scary. It's not me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Kick her in the head. Oh, I think I've got it. I'm supposed to get all the dark. Oh, ho, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Oh, but You're both here now. Wait, hang on. That just. Oh, ho! wait, why are you moving? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well done. You got me. Fair play. Why do I feel like there's something in here with me that isn't the robot? Oh my God. What is that? Get it off me. No! Bad! Bad! And, uh, yeah. That is it. Um, I'm actually coming back to this during editing this video because I remembered I actually hadn't recorded an outro. Um, yeah, that is the end of year video all done. It's actually ended up being longer than last year's, which I'm kind of happy about. It means I have more to say. And, uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching over the last year. You've all been absolutely fantastic. And I hope to see you again in 2023. Um, I hope you all have a happy new year. And yeah, signing off for this year. Bye bye 22. Hello 23. See you all later. Bye now.